Welcome to Westfield High School and the finals of the Western Mass Class D Tournament. As today, the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes, the defending champions in Class D in Western Massachusetts and the number one ranked team in the state of Massachusetts in Division Five, take on the Pioneer Panthers, who were the third seed in this Western Mass Tournament and will have a tall test against this outstanding Hoosick Valley basketball squad. Welcome everybody, Tim Moore here at Westfield High School for today's championship Saturday. And it's Hoosick Valley Day down here at Westfield as the girls will start things off in the basketball action as they take on Pioneer. And that's gonna be followed by an exciting matchup between the boys, Hoosick Valley and Duggan Academy. But first things first, Hoosick Valley, who's been here now four years in a row, will take on this very young Pioneer Panther team that has two seniors, but they are led by Kyler, Kyler McClellan, She's just a sophomore and she averages 14 points a game as well as, well as Eddie Harrington, the freshman who averages 15 points a game. So this young pioneer team will have a lot to contend with as they take on a very experienced uh, Hoosick Valley squad who is led by the senior Taylor Garabedian. She averages better than 13 points a game. And the two juniors, Ashley and LaShore, they're all-around point guard who averages 14, and Emma Meswar, who scores at a clip of about 10 points a game. And quite honestly, she has really come on here uh, in the second half of the year offensively. She's always been a very, very good rebounder and defensive player for Coach Frederick's Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. But now she's starting to score, and that is making it very difficult for teams to contend with. Hoosick Valley, the number one seed in Class D, in number one pending the final rankings that are gonna be coming out in just a little while here today. Uh, number one in the state rankings in Division Five. They score the ball about 63 points a game they average, and defensively they give up 38 points a game. For Pioneer, they score an average about 53 points a game and they give up 34 points a game. Again, Pioneer Valley, they play in the Franklin South Division. They have an overall record of 15 and five. Hoosick Valley, the number one ranked seed, comes in at 17 and three. And this is gonna be an exciting matchup between these two teams. Speaking with Coach Kevin Harrington of Pioneer before today's game, he told me it's a big, tall test for uh, his squad. He understands how good this Hoosick Valley team is. He understands that his team is going to have to try to match them physically in order to stay in this ball game. And now both teams are headed to their respective benches and we're gonna get the introduction of our starting lineups in just a moment here. This broadcast is being brought to you by Northern Berkshire Community Television. We're glad to acknowledge all the efforts by Northern Berkshire Community Television, specifically today our producer and camera person, Peter Gentile, who's directing this broadcast this afternoon. And I think Peter slept here overnight because he was the first person uh, in the gym today and is able to set everything up for us and it's always does a great job. We have a mixed officiating crew for this one. Uh, a referee from the Pioneer Valley, uh, a referee from Berkshire County, and we'll also have a referee. Uh, it looks like this, the referee is from the suburban uh, county. Girls, the Valley Athletic Conference and Westfield Public Schools welcome you to Westfield 
Very nice crowd here uh, at this very big Westfield Gymnasium. A lot of people from Adams and Cheshire down here supporting Hoosick Valley. They always travel very well. And this game here, as we said, was going to be followed up by the division, the Class D Boys Championship between Duggan Academy and Hoosick Valley. Tradition uh, in the Western Mass Tournament and the MIA tournaments, a recognition prior to the game of any veterans uh, who are in attendance. With our designated visiting team, in the black with gold and white, the number three seed in Class D, a record of 15 and 5, the Pioneer Panthers. Pioneer in its first Western Mass final in 25 years. Since back to back appearances in Division 3 in both 1998 and 1999. First, the Panthers reserves. Number one, Kiara Gruskowski. Number five, Leah Potter. Number 21, Maggie Tipper. Now for Pioneers at starting five. Number two, Soda Shai. Number three, Annie Harrington. Number 11, Tyler McClellan. Number 12, Haley Gray. Number 14, Natalie Rios. The head coach of the Panthers is Kevin Harrington. And as we pointed out, this is a young pioneer squad, only two seniors. Shea, the senior, and here's Emma Meswar, the junior power forward for the Valley. And then their point guard, Ashlyn LaShore, averaging 14 points a game, Abby Shalaba, and the power forward, Taylor Garabedian, number 35, and she will be a challenge on the matchup floor for this young pioneer team. We're going to pause now for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that 
you all. Please rise, remove your hats, and face the flag at the north end of the gymnasium as we honor America today with our national anthem. And we're just about ready to get started here. Both squads getting their final instructions. And we're just about ready to go. The Class D Girls Western Mass Championship. And coming out during this ball game will be, believe it or not, just in a little bit that hopefully we'll be able to bring those to you. The um, final rankings in the MIA and the pairings for the state tournament which will start next week with the preliminary round Monday and Tuesday and then the round of 32 on Thursday and Friday. So here we go. Haley Ring and Taylor Gary being the jump it up here to start this one. And it's controlled by Pioneer. And it will be Eddie Harrington running the offense for Pioneer. Being guarded out front. Got, got room to go to the basket. Shot doesn't go. And a breakout there by Husik Valley. Mesmer. And to sure scores that all beautiful pass by Mesmer to Ashlyn LaShore. And boy. That duo has been having a great second half of the season. Pioneer being trapped at half court. And they're going to call a timeout here quickly by Pioneer as Coach Kevin Harrington wants to get his squad adjusted to this pressure by Husik Valley, who jumps out quickly here to a 2 0 lead. And that's one of the hallmarks of this Husik Valley squad. They are a very unselfish team. They pass the ball very, very well. And that makes it difficult for teams to defend. They have five young ladies on that floor that can score, who have offensive ability. Now here we go. Pioneer will inbound on the ball here. 7.25 to go here in this opening quarters. Just getting underway in this girls class D championship. And Garrett Beating again on Harrington. This is a matchup we'll be watching, I'm sure, all afternoon long. They're running a lot of picks for Harrington. Not able to get loose. Switching defense there by Husik Valley now. Just some good, good defense. The ball is going away. LaShore has it. She gets it ahead to Shea. And now... Ashland is sure the composed junior will start the offense here for Husik Valley. 1-3-1, a three-pointer is good there by Hannah Shea. And she won't hesitate to take it. And the ball is stolen away by Shea. And it's going to stay with White here. So Husik Valley off to a quick start. And this has been one of the issues that they've had talking with, talking with Coach Frederick. They've sometimes gotten off to very slow starts. Salaba kicks it out 
to the shore. Her three-pointer back rim. And Garabedian on the board. Puts it up, doesn't get it to go. And they're going to tie up the ball. And it's going to go over to Uzik Valley. And there's the trademark there of Emma Mezwar. Very strong young lady. Very, very tough on the boards, both offensively and defensively. Mezwar doesn't get her shot to go. And it's going to stay with White here on the rebounding action. Music Valley leads here, 5 0 with 6.10 to go in this opening period. Inbound there, and on the foul, Abby Slava will go to the line and shoot a pair. Right now, Hoosick Valley firing on all cylinders here. Abby scoring the ball at about seven points a game for Hoosick Valley. She back rims the first one. And she gets one more here now. And she missed them both. Block Garabedi on the board strongly. She missed a short bunny. And Music Valley could have had a basket there. And coming into the forecourt is a number 14, Natalie Rios. And Music Valley in that trademark, man to man. Harrington out front. Harrington, going to thought about it for a minute, gets the ball in. There's going to be a foul there. That's going to go against Hannah Shea on the foul, on the reach. Foul the se she fouled the senior, Haley Ring. Haley scores, averages seven points a game. And a girl knocked down there. And they're looking low. And the ball knocked away. And here, oh, some excellent effort there. Ball picked up, and they're going to call a foul on the action. Some good hustle there by, by both teams. Both these teams playing hard here. 5.27 to go here in this opening quarter. Right now, Hoosick leads at 5 nothing, And they look like they're all business here. Shalaba takes steps back for the three, and hits it. Shalaba for three. Ball tipped on the press. The sure ball knocked away from behind, and Hoosick Valley out to a quick 8 0 lead here. Right, and ball stays with White here. Tried to get the ball in on the block to Garabedian. And they inbound the ball way out. And they're going to call a travel there on the floor. And a ball will go back to Pioneer now with 5.04 to go here in this opening quarter. They trail 8-0. And ball stepped away there. Shalaba gets it over to LaShore. Score. Excellent pass there. Shalaba to LaShore. And LaSure has four points now. And the ball trapped there at point. And the ball goes stolen away. Here comes Pioneer. They've got numbers. And they're going to call a travel there. And so Pioneer here, yet to get on the scoreboard. They trail 10 0. Huzik Valley really coming out with a lot of defensive pressure that's bothering Pioneer. And Garabedian ahead to LaShore. Again, Mesler from the corner for three. Oh, Hoosick Valley on fire here, on fire. And Emma Mesler with her first bucket, a three ball. Another ball stolen away. Mesler dribbles the ball in the front court. Shea from for three. She's got it. And time out for Pioneer as Hoosick Valley has come out firing on all cylinders, and they lead it here 16 to nothing with 4-11 to go in this first quarter. 
and they have hit four three-pointers. They are four of five from the three-point line, and that is very difficult to contend with. When you shoot the ball like that uh, at any level, you're going to have a very tall task to defend it. But they are coming out firing, and they are also converting defensive turnovers. They are in that zone press, and we've seen that during the course of the year. They don't always show it. They're showing it here tonight, and this starting five has erupted here for 16 quick points with 4-11 to go in this first quarter. And Garabedi now on top. And Pioneer is able to get the ball into the front court. They're going to call a travel there. As this is a young Pioneer team. They're going to have a really contend with it. Here's some numbers. And oh, what a pass for sure to Mezwar. Oh, that was beautiful. Picture perfect. And right now, Uzik Valley is all over Pioneer here. And picking up that man-to-man -man pressure. Sure on top. There's a long three-pointer. Doesn't go. And a putback will go. First points of the game. Haley Ring scores two. And it's now 18-2. Huzik Valley. Yeah. Now Pioneer has switched to a man-to-man. -man. The shore drops it down to Mezwar. Score it! Oh, a beautiful assist. The shore to Mezwar. Mezwar has seven points here. And there's that trapping press again. Mezwar on the floor to Schlaba. And Schlaba can't wheel away from the pressure. And here she comes into the front court. Ahead to LaShore. And Huzik Valley now sets, sets the offense. Garabedian along the baseline. Her ball tapped away, and it goes over to Pioneer. And Huzik Valley pressing here. They lead it 20 to two. Down the lane. That, that layup can't go. And on the rebounding action, it will go over to Pioneer on the arrow. And now it's for the Hurricanes, number four, Marin Capiello, and Haley McNeese, number 14. So Coach Frederick going to the bench here with 2.36 to go in this first quarter of action. Some tight man-to-man -man defense. Garabedian against Harrington. Harrington slips it off. Good shot there. Won't go. And a rebound there by McNeese. Ahead to LaShore. LaShore going to go get all the coast of coast. And she's fouled and going to go to the line and shoot a pair. Ashlyn LaShore, the junior, having a fantastic year here for the Hurricanes. Third year starter for this Hurricane Ball Club. She's going to shoot a pair. And that's a back rim for Ashland. Lusick Valley now 0 for 2 from the foul line. She gets 1 or 2. And it's now 21 2. Lusick Valley. Pass was almost blocked. And that's what makes it difficult on this press. Taylor Garabedian. Very athletic young woman. Out on top of it makes it very tough to throw over. She's the key to it. And she also is guarding the top scorer for Hampshire, Eddie Harrington. Ball is taken away and stolen back. Three-pointer around the rim and out. And the rebound there by McNeese ahead. To Mezwar, a beautiful drop down to Garabedian. Unselfish play there by Emma Mezwar. And Taylor Garabedian has her first bucket. And as I said earlier, that is the absolute trademark of this Hoosick Valley team. 
misses that shot. And they're going to take it out. Garabedian up, up and under. It doesn't go. Shot blocked there. And the ball will go over. On the tie-up, it's going to go to Hoosick Valley. Go to Jai now in for Leah Pollard for Hampshire. Ball is inbounded there to Capiello. Ball knocked away. And here comes Pioneer. Good drop off there. Shot blocked by Garabedian inside there. She's a force. Here comes LaShore. Handling the ball well for Music Valley to Capiello. They sure thought about it for a minute. Going to take it down the lane. And they're going to call an offensive foul there on Ashland LaShore. Good defense there by Pioneer. As Kyler McClellan stepped in. Took the offensive foul. And McClellan, a sophomore, she scores, averages 14 points a game. She is a very, very good young player for Pioneer. And Hoosick Valley continuing to show that pressure. And Pioneer, and that pass anticipated and stolen by Mesor, but stolen right back by Harrington. A nice pass there by Harrington. And they're going to call a foul on the play. It'll be on the floor there. That's a foul on Meswar. Good hustle play there. And a Pioneer now. Trying to get something on track. Nice up and under there on the play by Haley Ring. And she's got four points. She's got all the points for Pioneers. They trail here 23 to 4 with 30 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Capiello down the lane, perfect drop off. Oh, good save. There's Capiello for three, in and out. And the putback doesn't go. And, oh, almost there with nine seconds to go. It's going to stay with Husik Valley. Some great ball movement there by the Hurricanes. They just could not convert, so they have a chance to take the last shot here. Nine seconds to go in this first quarter. And there's an offensive foul there on Ashley Sure, That's her second. And Abby Schlava now comes into the game here with eight seconds to go in this first quarter. And colors ahead to Harrington. Harrington, the ball is stolen away, and Pioneer will not get a shot. And it has been all Hoosick Valley here in this first quarter as they lead it 23 to four. And it's been an outstanding effort here for the Hurricanes to start this ball game off. As it's, they have come out pressing and uh, shooting the ball very well um, in this first quarter. So Hoosick Valley has created uh, quite a lead here. They've got the 19 point lead and a big hole for Pioneer to climb out of now. And this is the start that Coach Fredericks was hoping for. His team has come out a little bit slow here this year at times, and uh, he wants them. He got, they, they were slow in the semifinal game against Pioneer Valley Christian, and um, he was uh, a little bit concerned about that. But they have come out firing on all cylinders. We have a moment here between quarters. We want to remind you that you can see all, get a review of all the high school basketball action in Berkshire County on High School Basketball Weekly, shown every week, Thursday evenings at 7.30, rebroadcast Saturday mornings at 10, and again Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, followed by our Game of the Week. So you can always see some top quality high school basketball action 
High School Basketball Weekly. Yours truly along with Rick Bull and guests on High School Basketball Weekly. And here go, we start the second quarter of action. And Shalaba knocks the ball away, got it somebody ahead. And the ball knocked away. Again, that's what makes it so difficult to defend. Who's it value? It's a very unselfish, very unselfish team. And a very good passing basketball team. Inbound there, that ball is gonna be thrown out and we're gonna have it stay tipped away. It's, girl is down here for Pioneer now. And we're gonna see where we're at here. I think it's, I think it's Kyler McClellan, but she's up. There's a tip at ball, so it's gonna be white ball here. White, well, they let it stay. Oh, nice move there. Down the lane. Doesn't get it to go. Nice move there. And here comes Slava. Inside to Messwar. Oh, what great ball movement. A real clinic going on here. Passing clinic by Husik Valley. And there's a three-point set shot. Doesn't go. Husek Valley all over the boards. And Capiello wheels it out of there for Husek Valley. Up the Mezwar. Mary thought about it for a minute. Good ball movement by the Hurricanes. We keep repeating it. Oh, nice pass. Good and go there from McNeese to Taylor Garabedian. And I can't say enough, this is a real passing clinic by this Hurricane Ball Club here this afternoon. And they're going to call a blocking foul there against Marin Capiello. And that's going to put Haley Ring on the line for Pioneer. And she's got all of Pioneer's points here. They lead it here 27-4 with 6.33 to go here in this first half of action. And the first one does not go. And Ring will get another one here. And it's perfect on that shot. And coming back into the game is, is is Anna Shea replacing McNeese ahead to Garabedian numbers. Oh, Shea thought about it for the minute. The short jumper is good. Nice form there by Hannah Shea, who's got eight points, and she is having an outstanding game for Husik Valley here. And here's Harrington now, trying to get around. Doing a good job there. Wheels out some picking action here for Harrington. You can kind of see. And they're down to the box. And scored up and under. And Ring has seven points. She's got all the points for three-point ball. Doesn't go. Husik Valley on the boards. Scramble for the ball. And we'll see. It's going to stay with Husik Valley. Good hustle there by both teams. Both teams playing very hard here. And Marin Capiello to Garabedian for three. She doesn't get that shot to go. And they're going to call foul. And this is going to be interesting here. This looks like it's going to go. That's going to go against Mezwar. That's her second. That's a second team foul this quarter. And here comes Pioneer now. Haley Ring, the senior. She's going to run the offense out front. Down the lane she goes and scores it. Haley Ring. And she's having a great game for Pioneer. She's got nine. And there goes Mez There goes, I'm sorry. And the tie-up. And that's going to go to 
Pioneer. So right now, Haley Ring is the whole offense for Pioneer is she's got nine points and she is in the ball out front, ball almost stolen away. Eddie Harrington out top. And they're trying to isolate her and they're gonna call a travel there. And so, who's it value? Leads it here, 29 to nine with 4.56 to go in the first half. And Taylor, Reagan Shea now into the lineup. Replaces Emma Mesworth, who's got two fouls, and Coach Frederick is gonna let him sit it out here, maybe for the rest of the half. There's Garrett being down the lane, doesn't get her shot to go. She had an opening there. And here comes Pioneer now. They trail by 20, 29 to nine. So they're trying to get things going. They're gonna call a foul on the floor. Into the game for Hoosick Valley is Reagan Shea, number 12. Oh, nice block. And the ball is gonna stay with Hoosick Valley here. Nice block on that play. And 29 to nine with 4.30 to go in this first half. Shalaba thinking about it. Gets it down low to Capel. She's gonna go to the line. Beautiful give and go play there, Shalaba to Marin Capiella. And Marin's gonna go to the line and shoot a pair for Hoosick Valley. So Marin Capiello, the junior, gets the first one. And Hoosick Valley is two for four from the foul line. Capiel got one more, gets her own rebound. And the pass there was from. Ball inbounded to Garabedian. Going to run action from the point here. Pioneer switched from a zone to a man to man, and now Shea will run the offense out front. Ball snapped away there by Harrington. Colors back to Harrington. And thought about it for a minute. Capiello, guarding with colors. That's a tough assignment. She's a very good scorer. There's Ring, and there's 10 on the shot clock. Good defensive set here for Hoosick Valley. And a ball finally stolen away. A great defense. And here comes Garabini, going to take it all the way to the basket. And they're going to let it play. And numbers now here, four to Ring. She's short on her shot. Here comes Shea. Reagan Shea has numbers. Slava thought about it for a minute, but he thought better of him. He's going to run some clock. And they're going to give the ball over to Pioneer. With three minutes to go in this first half, Huzik Valley leads it 30 to 9. Eddie Harrington, the, the freshman, brings the ball into the front court. And again, down the ring. They're working her along that baseline. 
No go there, and here comes Regan Shea. Ahead to Garabedian. Okay, the fall is good. She stayed with it. And she's got six points now, and it's a 32-9 lead here for Hoosick Valley with 2.20 to go in this first half, and Pioneer is going to call a timeout, and I'm not sure if he wanted that or not, but we're going to see now. He's a player may have been injured there for Pioneer. So... Two twenty-one here to go in this first half of action, and I think Harrington suffered a cut, and she's going to come out of the game. So they're going to get some treatment for her, the medical treatment, and Pioneer will inbound the ball there on the officials' timeout. Two twenty to go in this first half. Good defense there by Capiello up front. Almost stolen. And tied up on the side. Excellent effort there by Marin Capiello. The junior really stayed with it defensively there. Yeah. And Capiello inbounds the ball here. We approach the two-minute mark of this First half. Slava. She's going to take that shot. And she's got it for three. Abby Slava now two for three from three point land. And she's having a great first half. Two three pointers for a total of six points. And it's a 35 9 lead. For Wizzick Valley, here's Ring. Ball knocked away on the ground. In, in, in low to Ring. She's going to throw up the shot. It doesn't go. Nice effort there by Ring. And Garabini thought about it. Gets the ball back to. And there's a setback by Shea off the front rim. And here comes Pioneer now. With under a minute to go, 50 seconds, 50 seconds to go for three. Rattles in and out by McCullers. Slava ahead to Shea, who saves it. Excellent effort there. And it will say it's going to go over to, to Pioneer. And a girl down on the floor there for Pioneer with 42 seconds uh, to go. And this has been, you know, a very, very dominating performance by the Hurricanes of Hoosick Valley here who uh, lead this one 35 to nine. And Black is gonna call a timeout on the play. So, all right, who's the Valley here leads it 35 to nine. And um, you wanna stay tuned to Northern Berkshire Community Television as we're gonna be bringing you a lot of playoff basketball action uh, throughout the next couple of weeks as uh, we're gonna be getting the rankings and the seedings for the MIAA State Tournament. Those are coming out actually <laughs> momentarily uh, we hope to be able to bring those to you today when they do come out. Uh, as we've said, uh, the teams have already qualified. Hoosick Valley boy in the boys' division, Hoosick Valley, Jury, and McCann um, have all qualified uh, for uh, the D5 tournament action on the girls' side. Hoosick Valley, of course, they're the number one seed. The, the Lady Blue Devils of Jury have qualified. They're going to be in the tournament. Uh, so there's a lot of action. And, of course, uh, some of the teams also, Pittsfield High, uh, girls, Taconic, boys, uh, Monument Mountain, they're also playing today. So a lot of action you're going to be following here 
in the next couple of weeks. Okay, back to action here. And there's Ring. Up and under, doesn't go. And she has been a potent offensive force. There's a long three-pointer, doesn't go. The wild rebound stays over, not goes over to Hoosick Valley now. 20 seconds to go here in this first half. Hoosick Valley can take the final shot if they want. And there's Shea out top. Shlava, she's thinking about it, and she's going to take it. And it hits the guy wire up on top, and that was a long three-pointer. And they were giving it to her, but she just came up a little bit short. Photo Jai comes in. Eddie Harrington coming in for Photo Jai here with as we final seconds of this game and a, a half, for half. I'm sorry, and that's going to do it for the first half of action here in this Class D championship game. The score at halftime is Hoosick Valley 10 and the Pioneer Valley Panthers 9. A dominating performance for Hoosick Valley as they came right out of the gate. Uh, and really put uh, put the pedal to the metal, and it's broken out here to a 26-point uh, lead. We're going to take a break here. We're going to be back with a recap of the first half and second half action here from Westfield High School in just a moment. All right, we're back here at Westfield High School at halftime of this Class D girls Western Mass Championship, and it's been all Hoosick Valley here as they lead it 35-9 to over the Pioneer Panthers. And recapping the scoring for Pioneer, just one player in the, in the book, Haley Ring. She had nine points, the senior, for Pioneer, for Hoosick Valley. Marion Capiel, the junior off the bench, had a point. Hannah Shea had eight points. And that was courtesy of two three-pointers. Emma Meswar with a great first half of action. She had nine to lead the Hurricanes in scoring. Ashley LeSure had five. Abby Slava had six. She hit two of four from the three-point line, shooting very well there. And Taylor Garabin, the senior power forward, with six points. And Huzik Valley here leads it 35-9. to nine. And... Uh, it's been a dominant performance, in, but more importantly, really, you want to see these Hoosick Valley squad. They are, uh, put on a real clinic passing in the first half, as uh, had a lot of assists leading to bas baskets, and uh, they've really put on a clinic here in this first half. But we'll see what the second half brings. And the buzzer has sounded. And teams are now getting last minute instructions on the floor. And the starting 5 4 Hoosick Valley is back. Taylor Garabedian, Abby Slava, Hannah Shea. Ashlyn LaShore and Emma Meswar. And here we go now with eight to start this second half of action. And Pioneer will have the ball. Start the second half of play. Eddie Harrington, a very talented freshman, number three. She was held scoreless in that first half. And there's Haley Ring, the senior. There's a beautiful shot there by Harrington to, to get on the scoreboard for Pioneer. And here comes Hoosick Valley. And now, once again, Pioneer. They started the game in a zone, and they're in a zone now. Garabedian, the foul line jumper, doesn't go. And here comes Pioneer. They trail it 35 to 11. And there's Harrington from the, from the sideline. Doesn't go on that three-point ball. Ball on the floor. And it's going to go over to Hoosick Valley on the rebounding action. Great hustle in there by Natalie Rios, a freshman. And 
LaSure with two fouls. She sat good portion. Slava for three. Doesn't get that ball to go. Garabedian get the rebound, kicks it out. Shea thought about it for a minute. And Hoosick Valley re resets. Beautiful entry pass there for Mezwar. Garabedian thought about it for a minute. She's going to throw it up. Doesn't go. And here goes Pioneer. They're looking, they look they, they have some numbers. Up and in there. Beautiful job there by Fontan Jai. And she has her first basket. And Pioneer has the first four points of this second half. 35 13. Music Valley. And Shea from the corner doesn't get that three ball to go. And Pioneer. So Hoosick Valley has come out cold here to start this second half of action. Harrington down the lane. And the foul and count it. And count it on the foul. That will be a three-point play. Eddie Harrington now four points here in this second half. And Hoosick Valley will call a timeout here. With the score, Hoosick Valley 35 and Pioneer 15. And Coach Frederick want to take a quick time out here. 5.52 to go in this third quarter. And we're going to stay right here at Westfield High School because coming up next... The Hoosick Valley boys, the number one ranked team, at least as far as we know, in Division Five in the state of Massachusetts, and the number one seed in boys class D will t t take on Duggan Academy. Duggan Academy, the number three seed in class D. But we've still got a long way to go in this one here, and at the line right now for Pioneer is Eddie Harrington. She doesn't complete the three-point play, and it's going to stay with White here. So Hoosick Valley now inbound the ball. They've got a 20-point lead, 35-15, but kudos to Pioneer. They have scored the first six points of this second half. That's war on the bake. Here, obedient. And, and they're going to call it travel. As Pioneer, Pioneer has picked up the, their defensive intensity, no question here, in this second half. And they have managed to hold down Hoosick Valley here. And now, Garabedian. On top. And the ball's stolen away. And on the loose ball, goes over to Hoosick Valley. So Hoosick Valley, yet to get on the scoreboard here in the second half. They've been held scoreless here as we approach the five-minute mark of this quarter. Garabedian wheeling down the lane. And they're going to call a three-second violation on Hoosick Valley. And Hoosick Valley. Harrington breaks that press. National Shore guarding Harrington. And they're going to call a travel on Eddie Harrington. And National Shore now. As Hoosick Valley uh, has not scored yet in this third quarter. And they like to get on the board, but right now. Hoosick Valley a little bit confused. There's a shot. That's blocked. And here comes Pioneer. 
Right, three pointers, good for Claller McClellan. It's 35-18. And there's Schlaba. Her three point doesn't go, and here comes Ring. Numbers for Pioneer. Ball knocked away. Good hustle there. 35-18. So Pioneer on a 9-0 run here to start this third quarter of action. They are starting to crawl back into this game. McCullers doesn't get that one to go. For the die, the step back doesn't go. And here comes Suzik now. Into the front court is LaShore. There's Mezwar for three. That's a big shot for Huzik Valley. She breaks the scoring drought. And an offensive foul. Mezwar on both ends of the floor here. With a three pointer and an offensive foul with 316 to go here in this third quarter. And Huzik Valley. Leads it 38 to 18. A big turn of events here. And Suzuki Valley trying to stem that tie. Slava, ball knocked away, and here comes Suzuki. Here comes Pioneer. Ring is going to be followed on her way to the basket by Slava, and she'll go to the line and shoot. A pair of three throws for our Pioneer, Haley Ring. Oh, Haley Ring with 2.56 to go here in this third quarter. Music Valley leads it here, 38-18. And a first shot doesn't go. Haley... Haley Ring now, one of three from the foul line. Marin Capiello and Haley McNeese into the lineup for Hoosick Valley now. And Haley Ring gets one of two, and it's now 38-19, Hoosick Valley. 2.50 to go here in this third quarter of action. There's a step back there by Garabedian, and they're going to call a foul on the floor. Ball will be. Music Valley inbound the ball. McNeese. Ball on the front to, to Mezwar. She thought about it for a minute. Going to go down the lane. Throws it up. Doesn't get it to go. And good hustle there. But Mezwar can't control it. So. It'll go over to Pioneer with 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Music Valley starting to show that zone press. Here comes Harrington all the way to the basket. Doesn't get that jumper to go. Good penetration. Here comes LaShore looking to run it now. LaShore steps back for three. That shot doesn't go. On the rebounding action, Fa is going to be on Haley uh, McNeese, and she's going to go to the line and shoot a pair for Uzik Valley. Neither team has shot the ball particularly well. From the foul line, who's it? Valley just two of six. But she gets a second one, and she's in the scoring column. 39-19, who's it? Valley here. Here comes Ring. Ball tipped away. Mezwa, oh, could not complete it. Would have been an easy breakaway. Minute 58. 
A break there for Pioneers. That looked like that was going to be an easy one for Uzik Valley. And a ball thrown off. Uzik Valley player, so Pioneer will maintain the ball at a minute 50 to go here in this third quarter. Valley thought about it for a minute. Ball on the floor, tied up. Still on the floor, and it's going to go to Hoosick Valley on the arrow with a th minute 33 to go. And Lashiro inbound for the Hurricanes. Minute 33 to go. They have the 20 point lead here. McNeese thought about it for a minute. Pioneer in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. There's a step back jumper. Good. Oh, good ball movement there. Meswar. Having a great game. He's got 14 points, and they got tied up. And going to stay with, with Pioneer with a minute four to go and a 21-point lead for Uzik Valley. 41-19. And here comes Harrington to the basket. Oh, that pass was stolen away. Saved by Ushore. Ahead to Capiello. Takes the jumper. Doesn't go. And Mesler on the rebounding action. Ball. Great effort there. And who's Valley going to reset? Some good patience there here with 38 seconds to go in this third quarter. Capallo. Her goal is in and out. And numbers for Pioneer. McCullers. Good for three. Her second three. And you can kind of see this kind of scorer that she is. Meswar. For three. She answers. Oh. Emma Muswar at the buzzer, and that's a real heartbreaker for Pioneer as they were making a run, but Huzik Valley answers with a big three-pointer there, and Emma Muswar having a whale of a game for the Hurricane. She has 17 points, the junior doing a great job out there, and We've closed out three quarters of play. The score after three, it's Hoosick Valley 44 and Pioneer 22 in this Class D Western Mass Championship. And it has been all Hoosick Valley here this afternoon, although Pioneer scratching back in, had a nice third quarter. They actually won the third quarter. They were down at halftime big, uh, 35 to nine, but they had a good third quarter to kind of get themselves back into this game. So one more quarter to go here. And Pioneer will inbound the ball. Here comes Ring to the basket. Up and under, score it. Very talented singer, senior, Haley Ring. And she's got 12 points for Pioneer here. And it's a 20 point, who's it going to leave? 44 24. There's Garabedian for the jumper. She got it all for three. Taylor Garabedian. Good defensive set there for Pioneer. They're going to call a block on the side. I think that's going to go 
against Yep, and there it is, so. To the basket there, no. And ring. Powerful, the bat's gonna call a foul on top. I think that'll go against Cap Capial, and it is. Music Valley with a 23 point lead with seven minutes to go here in this ball game. And it's been all Hoosick Valley, an impressive, impressive performance. Oh, no. Oh, good, in, in, good interior passing there. And Harrington thought about it on the crossover, tied up defensively. Good defensive set here by Hoosick Valley. 10 seconds on the shot clock now. Jai, the shot doesn't go, and there it is. Haley McNeese, nice block out there. There's the setback. No go there by Capiello. And it's a belly. Got to get back. Pioneers got some numbers here. Ring, thought about it for a minute. Doesn't get it to go. And there's Harrington, the step back. No good. And right there is McNeese on the boards. Here comes Hoosick Valley. Nice war for the jumper. No good. And the tip out will go stay with Hoosick Valley. With 5.56 to go. And timeout on the floor here as Hoosick Valley leads this one. 20, 47 to 24, 23 point lead. And it looks like they are well on their way to defending their Western Mass Championship in Class D. Nice crowd here from Adams and Cheshire following the Hurricanes this afternoon. And again, as we indicated to you, we're waiting for the brackets in all of the divisions of the Western Mass Tournament. They are coming out um, any time now. Anytime they are going to come out, and uh, we'll see. And in fact, we're going to have those brackets coming to you as the the brackets are out, and um, we're going to give those to you uh, before the the start of the next game. But they are out, and. We'll go over those at the conclusion of this game. So Hoosick Valley. Hoosick Valley will inbound the ball. Inbounds to Garabedi and inside, inside. And again, she's fouled on the play by Ring. And um, that's going to put Taylor Garabedi in the outstanding Hoosick Valley senior at the line. Quite a career here at Hoosick Valley. She has been part now of four Western Mass Championship teams. Of course, pending in the final of this one here, but what a performance by Hoosick Valley here this afternoon. Caribbean, perfect there. That's 10 points on the afternoon for her. Solid all-around player. Back runs that. And as we've said, neither team has shot the ball particularly well. Uh, but Taylor Garabedian has been hounding, hounding Harrington the whole game. And there's a shirt of the basket. Score it there. Emma Meswar a little shaken up on the play, but she's up. And here comes Ring. And Uzik Valley leads here, 50 to 24, with 5.20 to go in this ball game. And Ring thought about it for a minute on the jumper. 
Harrington with this runner. Gets her own shot, and she's fouled there by Marin Capiello, and she'll go to the line and shoot a, shoot a pair. Harrington. Very talented freshman, Addie Harrington. Abby Schlava back into the game. And she misses the second one. And it's going to be black ball there. It's going to stay with, with Pioneer. 50 to 25 with 5.03 to go in this contest. Music Valley and a very dominating all around performance. Here's McClure's shot. Blocked by LaSherch, gonna go coast to coast and lay it up and in. Oh, what a great defensive play there by Ashley LaShore. And here come Harrington and they'll give it to her there. Marion Capiello into the front court here for Hoosick Valley. 52-27, 25-point lead. It's, we're under five minutes to go here in this ball game. LaSure down the lane, up and under, doesn't go. The putback doesn't go by, by Mesmore. And numbers for Pioneer. And score it on the foul. And they're going to get a two-shot foul. Natalie Rios. Gets her first bucket of the afternoon. And it's Shea in now for Marin Capiello. And she gets it to go. She completes the three point play there. And it's now 52-29. And a steal there by Ring on the pressing action. Harrington takes the jumper. Doesn't go back rim. Here comes LaShore. Numbers. LaShore thought about it for a minute. Oh, beautiful pass to Mesler and score it. Oh, that's a beautiful assist. LaShore to Mesler. Almost stolen away, ring to the basket. And she'll get the easy one there. And she's had a nice ball game for Pioneer as she's got 14 points on the afternoon. And Hoosick Valley leads it here 54-32 with 3.43 to go in this Class D Western Mass Championship. Hoosick Valley gonna inbound the ball. Ball knocked away. Steal there for Pioneer. And Colors score it for three. Kyla McClellan. That's her third three pointer. And he cuts that Hoosick lead to 19 54 35. And the Mesoir score it. Beautiful give and go. Back to a 21-point lead here as we approach the three-minute mark. And the pass is stolen there by Shea. I had the Salaba inside to Garbedian. Looking for LaShore there. And here comes down the lane. Doesn't go. Back to Harrington. She thought about it for a minute. And there's McCullers. She's being pressured by his good defensive effort here by Husik Valley. And they're going to call a timeout on the floor with two minutes and 27 seconds to go in this Class D Western Mass Championship. And it's Husik Valley with a 21 point lead, 56 to 35. And. Stand ready to assist with our upcoming post-game awards presentation. 
And we're going to go over also uh, between games here. Uh, we're going to be doing next the Hoosick Valley Duggan Academy Class D Western Mass contest. And uh, we'll go over the seedings. And both boys and girls divisions, they are out, and we're going to go over them with you so you'll have a pretty good understanding of what's going to be happening in tournament action coming up next week here. And Pioneer going to inbound the ball. They trail by 21 here, closing moments of this one. Here are two minutes and 20 seconds to go. That short jumper by Harrington didn't go. And Hannah Shea with the rebound. Abby Salaba approaching the two-minute mark here. Oh, if we don't inbound pass to Meswar, could have followed herself. He missed them both. And they're both girls struggle to the floor there. Oh, tough inside action there with a minute 56, Hoosick Valley. Hoosick Valley will inbound the ball here now. Long inbounds play. National is sure gonna set this offense. There's no rush here with under two minutes to go in this ball game. Garabedian, oh, beautiful inside pass to Mesworth. She's fouled, and she's going to shoot a pair. And again, the story of this afternoon has been the outstanding passing by Hoosick Valley here. They've done a fabulous job. Emma Mesworth. She misses the second. But the ball stolen, and Hoosick Valley will have the ball. That's the sure thought about it for a minute. And it's going to back it out here as we get down. We run it down here. And that pass is picked off and recovered. And a travel there on the floor. A minute 13 to go, and Hoosick Valley leads it 57-35. And they have been in control of this one throughout. And the ball is lost and going to go over to Hoosick Valley. On the lost ball. And Ashland is sure bringing the front court here. It's been a great performance by Music Valley here. And Salaba is going to bring the ball back out. We're under 40 seconds to play here. And it's been a great, great performance by Music Valley here. And they're going to run the run the ball here. Saba steps back for three and doesn't get it to go. And <laughs> Caribbean on the end line there with 12 seconds to go. And just an impressive performance here by the Hurricanes in this Class D Western Mass Championship. Done a great job. And Pioneer Valley will be back. This is a young Pioneer Panthers team. They'll be back for sure. And that's it. The, the horn has sounded here. And Hoosick Valley has successfully defended their Western Mass Championship. 
and they walk away with an impressive 57 to 35 victory. You gotta give Pioneer credit. They were down by 26 in the second, in, at the end of the first half, and they actually outscored Hoosick Valley in this second half. Played a good second half here, and not enough though, this young Pioneer Panther team We'll be back in this closeout of the Western Mass season today. But it was all Hoosick Valley. This is a veteran Hoosick Valley team. A lot of size, a lot of ability here. And... And now, and now present, presentation, a presentation now here of the awards here. And, and stepping forward, Net, Haley Ring and Forda Nye, the only two seniors on this squad. And this is a very, very young Pioneer Panther team. And they've done a great job here, had a great season. They were 15. <laughs> yeah. And, and there it is. The captain is coming forward as Hoosick Valley has successfully defended their Class D Western Mass Championship. And you ever wonder if it ever gets old? I'm not sure it does. You know, all of these kids play, they come up through the programs, they work hard, and it's always an accomplishment. And there is the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. They have successfully defended their Western Mass title. They now have a record of 18 and three. They are the number one seed uh, in the Western in the MIAA state tournament. And we're gonna we're gonna review all of that prior to uh, the start of our next game between Hoosick Valley and Duggan Academy. But congratulations to the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. They are the Class D Western Mass champions. We're going to take a break here and be back with action between Hoosick Valley and Duggan in the boys Class D championship. And hopefully we'll have some on-the-floor interviews with members of the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes, the Class D champions. We'll be back in just a moment. Down on the floor with Captain Taylor Garabedian, Ashley Shore, and Emma Mesor. And ladies, Taylor, I gotta say this, we said in the broadcast, I don't, does it ever get old? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It's, all, it's awesome coming here and winning, but you know. <laughs> a lot of, lot of hard work. We, we talked about it in the broadcast, and I was talking before you came out. Great, great passing by Hoosick Valley today. This this has really been the trademark of your team all year long. Very unselfish team. Yeah, those unselfish plays get us like up in the game, gives us a head start, and the more we do that, it's, it's great. Yeah. You guys now, you know, you, you're, you're ranked number one in Division Five, Ash, and you're going to have some some tough games coming up for sure. And but in this particular ball game, you guys really. Uh, effectively used your, your zone press. That kind of took Pioneer right out of the game. Yeah, we've been working on our zone press for forever. Every day. Every, every day every for day. like an hour, like an hour every day. But 
we just work at it to get it down so we can make turnovers like we do in the game. Well, one of the things that I had a chance to talk with um, Coach from Pioneer before the game uh, about you guys, and he said, listen, Hoosick Valley is where we want to be. Um, they, we aspire to be like Hoosick Valley, but he said one of the things is the, the strength of Hoosick Valley physically. He said they would, uh, they thought they were going to have a hard time matching up with you physically. And and, and Emma, this is a young, young pioneer team you play, but it looked like you guys had the better of it on the boards and defensively. It was definitely a really physical game through start, from the start, and we just we just took it out top. Yeah. Well, ladies. Coming up now, next week, you get a first round bye in the state tournament, uh, and, and I think your next game will be either Thursday or Friday uh, against a team that's uh, yet to be determined uh, since you get a bye in the first round. But this is uh, a repeat. You're going back. You got knocked out, uh, I think, in the semifinals last year, so I'm sure you're looking to go a little bit farther this year. Yeah, and starting the state tournament at home is always really good, so we just have to come out strong like you did today and don't let up. Yeah, one of the things that we talked about, you guys have come out slow sometimes in games, Ashlyn, but you guys fired right out of the gate today. Definitely, but then we came out slow in the half. I feel like there's always that one quarter where we always come out <laughs> hot, slow, but we always get, from here on out, we gotta start coming out hot every quarter. Now, interestingly, with this Pioneer team, young team, they, they came out well in the third quarter you know, it looked like they, they really stepped up their game uh, in the second half, uh, Emma. I mean, it kind of, I think they adjusted to your physical play and, and, and your ability, and it looked like they had a, definitely a better second half. Yeah, we knew that 11 and 3 were really good shooters, and they just came, they just started shooting and making them in the third quarter. Well, ladies, congratulations. We're going to stand by here for the boys now to see if we can have a repeat. Uh, and have both Hoosick Valley teams walk out of here with Western Mass titles. Thanks a lot. We're going to be following you in the uh, MIA tournament, so best of luck in the state Thank championship, you. all right? All right.